what is up you guys it's just richard for godmother and i am back okay except for i actually i am back with another you see i almost gave you all the wrong intro because i don't do enough tarot readings but i am back with another read today today we are doing a beginning of the month check-in this will be a check-in for august um oh yeah it's leo season so we gonna we gonna definitely tap in i'm not a leo but you know leo season is the lion's gate that's the portal and we're in that portal right now so it's a very exciting time it's time to kind of usher things into yourself it's time to let go of the old um it's also time to take action leo energy fire energy at all um it's just about taking action so that's what i feel like we're doing in this season so i just want to tap in and see what messages spirit has for us spirit guys it's been a master so family twin flame family please be here with me at this time helping you receive a message to deliver to the collective anything they need to know at this time regarding um august regarding the month of august any new blessings you know what you got going on for us for august any messages for the collective for august So let's go ahead and tap in. And I also have my astrology book right here. I'm trying to teach myself. So um, I wanted to use that in the reading today to just kind of like get some deeper messages, get it out the book so that maybe it can resonate with more people or, you know, you can feel more connected to the message. That's what makes me feel more connected when somebody can give me a specific detail or something can correlate specifically to something in my life. It makes me feel really good. So we're going to do that. Let's go ahead and get started. All right. So we have Pisces energy and we also have Venus. So you could be in love with the Pisces. You could be falling in love this season. Um, You could be loving on yourself. Pisces are kind of like emotional, but emotional in a like passive aggressive way. It's like you're going to stump around and be mad instead of just communicating with me and telling me what's wrong. Or you're going to stump around and be mad for hours and hours and hours and days and days and days. It's kind of like, okay, we get it already um this could also be a mother figure or like a girlfriend i feel like it's a woman so if it's not a woman this person could be in a very feminine energy okay so let's go ahead and get started with um this venus energy and let's see what that's about oh. jupiter saturn Uranus, Neptune, Pluto, I don't know, Venus, okay, so let me show y'all what it looked like, okay, period, okay, so it says the muse, okay, um, Taurus and Libra, second and seventh house, earth, art, shells, flowers, roses, makeup, coins, and gardens, the Venus is the ruler, of what is known as the divine feminine did i not say she was probably a feminine energy okay um because she rules two signs her energy is split into two areas beauty and values which are related to her taurus side and love and relationships which are tied to her libra side the material items we want are governed by the first area of venus some people want money some people want good food and others have a desire to create drama and art the people we attract and are attracted to are determined by the second side of venus everything from the way we flirt with the potential date to how we express ourselves in the most intimate partnerships is ruled by her position in our chart Someone with a lot of Venus energy will be quite alluring and have a natural magnetism about them, even if they are very shy or reserved. It is important to note that like all classics beauties, Venus has a dark side. All right, let me just, by reading that, I felt like you were forced to be reckoned with. It's like somebody could have been playing with you or didn't think that you was that pretty or didn't, it's like you're vast. So it's like deep. It's kind of like when you think about the ocean, right? It's like, it looks beautiful, but you never know that that motherfucker can swallow you up. That motherfucker can kill you. It's so big. It's so deep. It's like, if you go deep enough in the water, the pressure can bust your blood vessels. You know, like our organs and shit can't sustain what fish and big ass ton pound shark. Like, you know, like, it's different. What we have is 
it can't be con like it's like i can't explain it i just feel like somebody can't understand you it's like one minute you like this one minute you like that one minute you're thinking about this one minute you're thinking about that i feel like you are just kind of multifaceted or this is the being that you're looking at and you're looking at her like girl so you could be a masculine watching or you could be a feminine watching and you like damn like i really want to be her friend like she's so fly like i really like her or i really like her daycare i really want to send my kids to her daycare like i really it's like being able to see people's personality from social media and really being able to see their personality it's not i feel like you're unfollowing a lot of fake people or maybe changing up what your feed looks like changing up the people that you follow changing up your work friends maybe you used to be clicked up with them now you clicked up with them you know i just feel like i heard i'm back up on the scene i feel like you back up on the scene you know like you and your best friend could have cut each other off y'all not kicking it no more and you know you ain't been on social media you ain't been taking yourself out on dates and now you and this girl this new person reconnected and it's like you back on social media like y'all going for brunch and mimosas and doing cute shit it's like i finally have a woman that i can be cute with like i can be on my woman shit with so maybe you're attracted to a lot of men like maybe you have niggas that's friends but they really just your friends and it's kind of like you could never be a woman you always kind of had to appease them or take the jokes or you know shit like that and i feel like now you get to be soft or you get to be feminine or you get to be you her energy can be very greedy lazy entitled and difficult to transit so i feel like this is a woman who knows what she's worth it's like i bring the table <laughs> yes i'm gonna ask for money no i don't want to work hard for this i feel like this is a woman who has been through so much in her life that she's manifesting a divine masculine who wants who can take the pressure baby you ain't you ain't cracking under pressure baby this is a diamond being built under <coughs> oh wait <coughs> chokes me right up choked me right up okay but i feel like there's a difference i feel like some men could look at you like you're lazy greedy or entitled <clears throat> and the man who's for you is looking at you like them she want everything that she want like she's not gonna settle for less lazy like god really do just be blessing her she don't even gotta do much and, and she just makes it happen or entitled she knows what she's worth and she's entitled to go get that. I feel like overall, you're just changing. You're changing the people that you're around because it's like you don't want people to keep looking at you like, oh, she's so conceited. You want your friends to also be confident in themselves. It's like people are only judging you because they don't see things the same way that you do. So go see it the same way as somebody who see it like you do because you'll you'll constantly feel either superior or like you're not doing enough or like you're in the wrong for feeling how you feel if you're around people who don't share that same love for themselves you're going to constantly feel like you're doing too much and you shouldn't have to feel like that it says it is time to appreciate the beauty in your surroundings too often we rush through life never stopping to appreciate the simple things Food and shelter are human needs, but we also need enjoyment. We need pleasure and we need intimacy. We need laughter and we need rest. Without those things, we are simply just shells, prone to depression and loneliness. Venus serves as a reminder to pamper yourself every now and again. You'll be more productive in the long run. You could be going through a period of attraction right now, whether you are attracting material items or romantic interests. Venus wants you to not only enjoy it, but to utilize it. How can you use this magical energy you are radiating to serve yourself? So often we are told not to be selfish or to put our needs first, but in fact, you must. When you are happy, the people around you are happier as well. So <clears throat> for a lot of you guys, I feel like I just heard Anubis, so you could be watching Mama D Tarot. But for a lot of you guys, I just feel like you being happier makes your kids happier. It makes your spouse happier. Like 
I just did a live on Facebook um, yesterday about this, but it's just like, if you're not happy, you're never gonna be happy with your partner. If you're not happy in your friendships, it's because you're probably not happy in yourself. Yeah, you can have a friend who's doing you wrong, but she don't gotta keep being your friend if you don't like how she's moving. Again, it's about self-love, it's about you being happy. So I feel like you're kind of recognizing that you have power over yourself. It's like, stop letting so many people determine who you are. Stop letting so many people put you down. If you're conceited or if you like looking at yourself, if you want to post 10 stories in 10 minutes, do that. If people don't want to watch your story or if people are skipping through your story, you're not posting it for them. You're posting it because that's what the fuck you want to post. It don't got nothing to do with nobody else. So this feels like not judging yourself based on what other people got going on fuck them other people okay so then we have the pisces the fish again i'll show you guys how it looks so y'all can maybe catch a word or see something that resonates with y'all but um <clears throat> it says neptune the 12th house water mutable virgo shells water fish coral starfish and lilies the fact that both of these cards are associated with shells you could be needing to go to the ocean, needing to go to the beach, needing to take home some shells, do something with some shells. Maybe you're creative. Maybe you make pictures out of magazines or shells or something like that. The final and the most elusive sign of the zodiac is the Pisces. If you've ever tried to catch a fish with your bare hands, then you know how quick they are to get away. But, but with a little patience, one must just swim up to you. Pisces doesn't act this way on purpose. She just has an emotional depth that many of us cannot relate to and it takes time for her to open up. So this is kind of like something coming to you. As you start to be patient, something is now coming to you. It's swimming to you. This could be a baby. Um, this could also be like if you are a swimmer. I feel like you're defying the odds. Like maybe it's a rule that you have to shave or something. Maybe you natural. Maybe you coming out to the swim meet with the bush. Um, your kid could be going to Riverside this year. Um, you could be feeling like, dang, like my kid is on the swim team and I don't really want to get her waxed or I don't really want her to shave or I don't want it to, you know, like I feel like you're talking to somebody could potentially be a child about things that they're embarrassed about, like body hair or growing up or maybe oh getting her period oh somebody's kid could be getting their period um sometimes overly sensitive pisces can shut down remember i said earlier like you know that passive aggressive energy so it feels like when you guys shut down that is your attempt to process the feelings that you're feeling but I feel like when you do that, you're doing it maybe in an unhealthy way. So it's realizing different ways to handle situations. Um, when a planet transits through Pisces, things can get dreamy and mystical, like a slight haze is surrounding everything. Things aren't revealed in their entirety, and it takes a deep emotional reflection to get back on track. Where Pisces appears in your natal chart is where you have potential for soul searching and emotional development and appreciation for beauty in the ordinary world. Mixed emotions can be on can be an ongoing thing for you. Pisces acknowledges this in confusion, and this card is a reminder to not make rash decisions. So don't be impulsive. Kind of take your time to really think about it. Am I really mad or do I really hate this person or am I just disappointed in them am i just sad that they did this you know so it's about researching researching your feelings researching what you're going through researching who you are what caused you to feel that way when faced with the problem you may feel tempted to go with the first option presented to you just to do anything but stand still but that will be unwise do some soul searching, and when you are ready to make a decision, you'll know which choice is the right one. Pisces can also mean that you are feeling overly sensitive and imagining problems that aren't really there. Comments are made by comments made in passing by those around you or not processing your own emotions towards others. These types of situations need to be handled gracefully. So again. <laughs> I kind of feel like this is like not being too quick to make a decision, like slowing your roll or like slowing yourself down, being compassionate, being patient with someone or with yourself.
let's see why it's Pisces here and then ooh. so this card I don't have this deck anymore but it's like a crystal deck um and this card these are very similar to these so I just use them in the same deck so I feel like this is kind of like something that's not that's in the wrong place but it's in the right place it's exactly where it's supposed to be the ace of pentacles malachi i am always rewarded for all that i do so this is kind of like even though you could have potentially been in the wrong place you could have been there at the right time attracting money to you or um for some reason i feel like you could be thinking that you're spending money is wrong i am always rewarded for all that i do but i feel like whatever you're spending you're getting it back tenfold in, in that way so let's say you spend it on a black owned business if you are a black owned business you will be getting that back if you spend it on your child your child will be giving you something whether it's a drawing whether it's love whether it's being a good kid because they know you stressed out whether it's another kid coming into fruition um whether it's i don't know you know but if you spend your money on food maybe healthy food will be given to you maybe people will just come over and it's like hey you want to come over to dinner or let me buy you lunch you know different things like that i feel like wherever you're spending your money it is coming back to you we also have the magician here which is kind of like manifesting money you could potentially be writing out a petition or writing out your dreams and your goals because i feel like at this point you want it all you want money and money is at the forefront of everything else it's like you've put love on the back burner but it's still on the table remember i said you bring the table again this feminine energy so you're maybe looking for a masculine to come sit at your table you got all of this you have communication with the swords you have passion with the wands you have emotions with the cup but you also have finances right so you can maybe not have a lot of all of this because it feels very scarce but at the same time you got your hand out it's kind of like even though i have all of this i still want what you got didn't i say you want a man who can take it all who can handle the pressure you got the you got the king of the ocean you got the emperor okay king this could also be you but this is order this could also be god god creating order in your life like this could be you needed to get on a schedule you need to wake up at the same time every day you need to like put yourself in a position like come up with a formula or something like you also have the nine of wands, which is kind of like, I don't want to say being defeated, but it's right before the 10. So it's kind of like the 10 is about having all those responsibilities, having a lot to bear. Um, the nine is a cycle ending or coming to a completion. So this to me feels like you're almost there, but it's getting a little bit harder. Like it's harder to get to the finish line. The seven of wands is all about like protecting something like the five of wands is competition maybe being cheated on the six of wands is and being cheated on don't have to mean in a relationship it could be like you got cheated out of something right so like being cheated on in a relationship or something like that and then you have the seven of wands where that's that woman energy or that feminine energy or even that masculine energy where it's like i want to protect what i have like i want to protect this i'm not jealous but i'm protecting what i have so this feels like you're not protecting it anymore. The A, I feel like, is like that moving away. This is kind of like solidifying something. Yeah, I feel like you're kind of solidifying something for yourself. Something that maybe you've always wanted or you've been trying to call to yourself. I was going to use this deck, but then I just got called to use my crystal deck. Let's see why it's Venus here. With the rose quartz, which is love. And why is Pisces here? Venus is literally love. And for the rose quartz, the love life, we're ready to fall in love, to fall out. New or renewed romantic love is here for you. With On top of Venus, with the rose quartz. Crazy. This could be like a sugar mama, sugar daddy type of situation. Or this could be a grandmother, like, you know, sugar mama, proud family. You could be watching Disney with the kids. Um, sugar light. <laughs> I don't even know if that's how you say it. Sugar light. It says, own your divine power. Replace codependent people pleasing with assertiveness and empowerment. So 
didn't the Pisces card say something about like leaving unhandled situations, like leaving things unhandled or not speaking your feelings, that passive aggressive, not speaking your truth? It's time to own your divine power. It's time to go get what it is that you want for yourself. It's time to like enjoy loving people. I feel like society tells us like oh we have to be independent we have to get it out the mud like we have to be able to do things on our own and this is you kind of feeling like well i did that already you know or i struggled already or even if you've just gotten out of a relationship you nobody says you have to wait forever to get back in a new one if you were a or i'm hearing like you could be getting divorced like if you're getting divorced mm -mm. It'll be finalized. It's kind of like, okay. Um, also, I feel like this is just how you love yourself as well and how you love your inner masculine because you have the king of the ocean. Remember, I mentioned the ocean earlier about being vast and being very, very deep and about being multifaceted. So there could be someone around you who notices your masculine energy even though you try to hide it. But it's kind of like, I can see the fact that you're a go-getter or I can see the fact that not you acting like a nigga, but like maybe you're talking to a whole bunch of people and somebody is seeing you like you a thought or you a hoe or you this or you that. That's that judgmental energy. And I feel like you're kind of blind to it. It's like you're not necessarily paying attention to it, but that's how somebody could be feeling about you. But that could be because they're not nurturing their inner masculine. It's like, yeah, you see it on me. Because maybe that's what you want to see from yourself. So I feel like this could be people around you projecting and you're not allowing that anymore. It's like my love for myself is so high and heavy that you're rejecting me or projecting how you feel onto me. It don't work no more. You can't get through to me. Like you can't sit over here. You can't sit with us. I feel like this is kind of like so much self-love that anybody who does not love you cannot infiltrate you. Period. You are not letting people in your space. I feel like you kind of like in your own domain. The two of springs, a decision, a bright future manifested through hard work and creativity, partnering with others who share your dreams, great progress being made. So this could be um, a new friendship sparking up. This could be a new Pisces friend. This could be a mentor, but I'm not really feeling that way. Um, I also feel like this could be like some kind of nonprofit organization or this could be something that you're doing for free. Like you're not paying for this work, but you're still doing it. Ace of Pentacles, you're still going to get paid for it. Even if you're not getting paid financially, you could be getting paid in the act of meeting new friends. You could be getting paid in the act of, dang, like all of these kids, like, oh my God, like I love them or I see how hard this is. Or, you know, I feel like maybe somebody is watching you after they done had to babysit plenty of kids. And it's kind of like, dang, you are such a good mom, you know? Like, how do you do it? How do you do it? I feel like somebody is looking at you like, I need your help. So this could be you becoming a teacher or you helping somebody out. I feel like whoever this friend is, they've already kind of gone through what you're going through. So it's kind of like you get to feed off of this person and they get to feed off you too. I feel like you have something to offer too. It's not just you know them giving to you just because maybe you're in a going through a hard period in your life right now i feel like you have something to offer too even if it don't feel like it so you could not have a lot to offer financially but your passion your ideas your dreams i feel like that's enough you got worried but you worried that it's not enough you worried that somebody is thinking about balance and you having to pay what you weigh like somebody doesn't need you to have as much money as they as they have somebody doesn't need you to have the a house like they got somebody don't need you to have the car somebody don't need you to be getting paid six figures somebody don't need you to have their same sex drive or you know if it's kind of like okay girl we friends I, you don't got to be single just because i'm single you can have your man like i ain't gonna have you out in a club or you know doing nothing that's gonna hurt your relationship i feel like you're worried about not fitting in with these new people at this new job like um i just heard this new sorority i don't know if you have sorors or or if you feel like well i'm not pretty enough or i don't feel like i got enough going on for them to accept me 
feel like just by you feeling like that is what's going to get you not accepted more so than feeling like you know what you have to talk about or what you want to talk about is not important enough because i feel like it's important to who needs to hear it or it's important for who it's for because you got worry on top of um the two of wands wands again is that passion the two is about balance and we do have the balance here i bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and i do so without judgment um Again, so this could be judging yourself, judging others. Like, you worried about the wrong stuff. You should be worried about owning your divine power. And instead of letting somebody take your power away from you, balancing your own. The four of winter. Set aside your concerns for now. You can make a decision later. Solutions that come from meditation. The need for more sleep or a vacation. So sometimes owning your divine power is spending that money. And being like, look, I know I'm going to get it back. Like, you have your whole life to save up. You have your whole life to be stable. You have your whole life to not be in a fucked up position. Like, in your 20s, allow yourself to fuck up. If you're in your 30s, allow yourself to go through your body changes. If you're in your 40s, allow your hair to start looking different. If you're in your 50s, allow things, your libido to not be the same. If you're in your 60s, allow maybe a career change at that point. You know, if you're in, like, it's kind of like if you're 19 going to your 20s, allow yourself to not be tied down to anything, whether that be not having kids yet, whether that be not necessarily getting a credit card so fast if you don't know how to use it, not being committed to college if you don't know what career you want to do. I feel like you got your whole life. That's just what I keep feeling like. Like, sometimes you do just got to be patient. Like, maybe it's not your season to save. Maybe it's not your season for love. Maybe it's not your season for a worry. Maybe it's not your season for abundance. Sometimes it's not our season. And I feel like you're walking into what your season is. And I feel like you want your season to be everything. It's like you want all four seasons in one. You want the winter. You want the summer. You want the fall. You want the spring. You want everything that you can get out of something at one time. That's that balance. That's that bringing something to the table. It's like, I want money, but I don't need to have it all. But I want enough to feel good. I want communication, but I don't want to talk to y'all every day. Like, I need my space. I have passion, but I also need to rest sometime. I'm emotional. I love you, but I also got to love me sometimes. So, again, it's about that balance. It's about not giving too much and not being willing to take too little. Like, you can't just be willing to take crumbs and feel like that's enough. It got to be an equal give and take. Y'all got to kind of be vibing on the same length, whether that's a person or whether that's a job or opportunity or career or a new town or if you want to go, like, travel across country or do something across the state um i'm also hearing like politics somebody could be wanting to get into politics or being a lawyer or you could have had to be a lawyer first in order to become a politician i feel like this is starting your career in order to have your future career it's like this is not what you want to do 100 percent, but this is kind of what you're starting off having to do Then you got the queen of winter. It says, let go of people or things that no longer serve you. Now is the time to focus on your career, unmarried or divorced individuals. So for you, I feel like this is not, again, tying yourself down to anything and then not worrying about it. It's like, we don't got to get married right now. Like, maybe we could just be engaged for a while. Or maybe we could just see if we like each other. Like, we don't got to be in a relationship right now. We could just date. If you got a girl that you're kicking in with and y'all can be want to be friends, it's like, we don't have to move into being business partners just because we friends. Or just because we do the same thing or we like the same stuff. We don't, even if somebody you met on social media, we don't got to be friends. Like, we don't got to actually be friends. Like, we don't got to talk. Like, we don't got to, you know, like, let's, let's kind of be okay with what we already have i feel like that's showing god that you're grateful or that's showing god gratitude which is then in turn bringing more justice to you i feel like it's able to kind of usher in something that you actually need i'm hearing like you need this like you need this yeah 
all right you guys so that was our reading for august um i'm gonna definitely be back but i just kind of wanted to do a quick little tap in um to see what kind of energies we were going to be in for the start of the month if this video resonated with you um leave a comment down below give this video a thumbs up share it on all your social medias and i am out of here you guys